Well, hello there, YouTube. It's Saturday, July 1st, 2023. And today I want to do a quick little video on the power steering pump. Using this oil, this is a rebuilt pump by CNM Hydraulics, same people that rebuilt the power steering gearbox. This is your high pressure, and your low pressure, and there's something else you're going to need, and that is a filter. So it's a man filter, H85. That filter is inside of here. Let's take a look inside. I want to thank you guys for subscribing and clicking the bell and everything. You know, as I said earlier, we're going to be starting this car live on YouTube. At least that's the plan. And I'm getting closer every day. So I'd like you guys to join me for that. All right, so this is the inside. There's a, a rubber gasket. This is new, by the way. And then you have this little collar right here. The 10 millimeter, depending on what your guy put on there should come off as easy as that. But don't let go of this, because it's going to shoot right up. Put your finger over the top for safety, right? This part, a spring. And then to get that out, I use a pick. There we go. So that is the filter that we're talking about here, an H85. The previous owner, or well, whoever threw this all together to make it look really good, <laughs> actually purchased this. And I know it's C&M Hydraulics that, that did the work. I can just tell, tell you that that's who rebuilt this pump. The helicoils they installed inside of here, very nicely done. Anyway, so that's, that's what this thing here looks like. The prior owner had a different kind of fluid in there. It was not genuine Mercedes. I know that for a fact. I've already drained all the lines in a previous video. This here is already a new one. It's a little harder to put in actually than it is to take out, I think. You have to get it just right. So you should change that obviously in your gasket and just reassemble it the same way. In a video that I did just the other day was installing the AC and power steering brackets. And these are all the parts that I pretty much purchased. Well, on the left there, all the numbered ones. So all that is all brand new and they're all here. And I already torqued down that cover plate. Put on your spring, that goes down. Put a little bit of tension on there like that. That's it. Um, it keep, the nut can't fall off no matter what. The previous guy put on a nylock, and that's not smart because the, the hydraulic fluid could probably eat up that nylock and you're gonna introduce contaminants into your system. So this here is a stainless steel nut that I'm using. All you have to do is just get a little bit of tension on this. This here is gonna determine everything you can see, right? All right, let's take it over to the engine. The tools you're gonna to need for the job are a pick, 13 millimeter combination, 10 millimeter combination, 13 millimeter, and a ratchet, and a torque wrench capable of 25 Newton meters. So this is the left-hand side of the, the engine, right next to the distributor. So this top bolt is a stud, and this is a slider, this is also a slider, and you see how the, your slider is, is made. The correct way is this way, not this way, that way from the back. All my bracket bolts have been fully torqued down, roughly 25 Newton meters. On the back side, you have this. This is your adjustment, and that will fit right in this hole right here that big hole. So I'll place that hole onto this. The idea is to get this to fit flat, obviously. All these have a spring washer, 170. Now I'll place my last one over here, this final adjustment one, which no camera can see right now. So I don't think you need to tighten anything at this point. You know, you just kind of snug it down. All right, so you have in 
tightened anything down, you just kind of snugged it down. That's fine at this point. I knew I was gonna forget all kinds of things, so tools. This here's a 22 millimeter, and I'm gonna use that to turn that pump, just like that. So this is where you're gonna introduce your oil. Now for me, obviously, the, the, the engine is not in the car, so I won't be actually adding any oil. But I just wanted to cover this. I just didn't want to leave you hanging. Here, I, I installed this, but not really, right? Let's do a complete install, even though we're not going to physically do it. Um, so at this point, your pump is dry. So you're going to fill your pump. Now when you do fill your pump, it's going to automatically, gravity itself is going to feed it down to the pump. I mean, it's a good idea right now to just to kind of bleed everything out as far as I'm concerned. Now's a good time just to bleed everything and start fresh. But if you're just changing the pump and the gearbox and everything's fine and you left all your hoses and you don't want to do that, then that's fine. Just go ahead and hook up your hoses and make sure you put in the same oil. And when you do, fill the oil and let gravity fill the bottom of your pump now or your gearbox. Your gearbox itself will not be fully oil there's going to be some oil, there's going to be some air bubbles inside your gearbox as well as your pump so fill that up let it bubble out and do all that kind of stuff and then introduce your 22 millimeter and turn your pump you could probably just do this by hand you don't need a drill probably but if you would like put a drill on here It'll be the same thing as running the engine. I would definitely start off this way, you've got a dry pump. And you're gonna be doing that, and you're gonna be filling in some oil. And then eventually you're gonna say, okay, that, that looks good, but you're not. Now you need a helper. You need a helper to go inside your car, and they're gonna turn the wheel to the left. You know, jack up the front of your car. Get both front wheels off the ground and get someone in the driver's seat. And while you're turning this, they're gonna be turning the wheel to the left and they're gonna be turning the wheel to the right. And what that's gonna do is push out the air bubbles and bleed the system. And just keep doing that until you, you stop seeing bubbles. And once you're there, put your cap back on. Make sure you're nice and seated well. Now it's time to adjust your, your V-belts. Obviously I'm not gonna do that <laughs> because I, I've got a lot more that's gonna be going on here before, we're, before I'm ready for that. But what you would do, snug these bolts. You wanna make sure that this is available to go up you know, freely. Then take your six millimeter and go right here on this nut. Sorry I didn't get that in the, in the view. And that's your adjustment point. And then you can go up and down, as you can see. And then once you've got where, you, where your belt is right, and there's instructions in the manual that tells you, you know, with their special tool. I will be putting on all my belts, and at that time I will be showing you a technique that, that I learned many years ago on how to test your belt tension. But anyway, that's how you would do it. You just adjust it, you know, from this point here, up and down. And then once you've got it, go ahead and lock all your, your points in. So the manual actually gives you some specification here. So attachment of the power steering pump to the carrier. So the carrier is what we've already, what I've already installed in the two videos ago. And now we install the pump. So that is these bolts that we just did. And according to that, it is 25 Newton meter. Well, thank you guys for watching this video and sticking it out to the end. I know it's just a real simple thing. And you know, the whole purpose of my videos here is to address everything and to document it. I wanna have the, the best documented 560 SL ever. <laughs> well, I think that pretty much wraps up this video. This is how I installed the power steering pump. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Hey, if you, did you notice? Google lets me put a thanks down there. People can actually send me money now. Not that I expect anybody to send me any money, but hey, that super thanks is there. Uh, this is a real simple thing. You know, like I said earlier, this is, there's not much to it. There's, you know, three bolts, right? That's all there is to it. But that's how I did it. Maybe not how you guys would do it. That's how, you, how I flush the system and then I bleed the system and then put your belts on guys and that's all there is to it. So for now you guys, thanks again for watching.